Welcome back to the second half hour of the Factor Uncensored. Now, we're officially in the era of electric vehicles. As they continue to gain popularity, we wonder how they will look, operate, and improve in the future and improve on our lives. Dr. Joseph Rom from the University of Pennsylvania shares his insight. We are talking electric vehicles, sir. What's the future of electric vehicles here in America? I know the number one complaint with many people is, you know, you have to charge it, and the distance that you can drive it is not the same as a gas-powered vehicle. Well, I think the good piece of news is that um, these cars are getting better every day. You know, we're, we're really, I, I would say we're just sort of maybe in the second or third inning, uh, you know, for the baseball fans out there. Um, you know, the... This market got kicked off by Tesla, you know, Elon Musk, and uh, he was able to, you know, really drag the other major, you know, companies along with him. And you're now seeing a lot of models being introduced into the car market. And I think uh, all the while the batteries, which are the core element here, are getting cheaper and better at storing energy. So, you know, for instance, uh, just recently, Toyota Motors said that within a few years, they're going to introduce an EV with a 900-mile range. Wow. So That would yeah, be incredible. It, it, w it would be. And, I, and, 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 and they are promising, they say, we've got a bunch of batteries that we're going to be, you know, we're in the final stages of, and these are going to be better batteries than the ones in, in, in the current cars. And, yes, they will give not just better uh, a driving range, but we're talking about like a 10 minute charging time. Now for those doctor who are concerned about the safety of those batteries, we've seen many of the videos on social media, on YouTube, where we see Teslas and other electric vehicles on fire as a result, or at least we think, we assume yeah. it's a battery. Yes, and, and look, the, the, the chemicals in the battery can catch fire. Uh, you know, if there's an accident and certain things, you know, mix or, or what, you know, parts of the plates hit each other that aren't supposed to, uh, they can definitely start a fire. And I think the, the concerning part is just that it's a little different than a regular automobile fire. Mm -hmm. uh, now, I should say, we've gotten very used to automobiles, you know, catching fire, right? Yeah. We, there's like 500 of those a day. You know, it's, we're just used to that. It's been around a long time. Um, these are new vehicles, right? Obviously, they have a lot of media attention to them, so it's understandable that if something goes wrong, you know, they got a lot of attention. Um, and I think people kind of remember that there was this Samsung phone that caught fire in airplanes, which is obviously a really bad thing. So uh, people are spending a lot of money to improve these batteries. And I think you're, again, going to see over the next few years, the introduction of battery chemistries that are much, much safer. Um, I would say right now, the chances of your electric vehicle, you know, getting in an accident and catching fire is, is not greater than that of, you know, an automobile with its, you know, 10 gallons of flammable liquid on board. Um, the most important thing is the fire departments, the responders have to understand this is a different type of fire mm -hmm. because the battery actually generates its own oxygen from you know the way you put the electrodes in the fluid and and that's the way they operate is they'll generate oxygen at, at the cathode so the point is you can't just suffocate it like you can't do one of those things where you try to remove the oxygen you know use an oxygen removing gas or cover it with a heavy blanket type of thing you could still use you know a uh, 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 water you could still use a uh, you know, uh, um, uh, uh, douse it with water. But mm -hmm. the point is the fire departments definitely have to know, have to be trained, right? And I, so there is that, you know, that side of the concern. But I do think people should understand these batteries have gotten, you know, much better in the last 10 years and they will get better again over the next 10 years. And Dr. Rahm, let's talk affordability. Are electric vehicles becoming more affordable now? Yes, I, and I, I think that's a very good question. I think what you're seeing now, finally, what gets cars affordable is competition, right? Mm -hmm. When there was just Tesla out there, remember, Tesla came in at the high end of the market yeah. because they realized that, hey, 
people it's this is going to be too expensive for a regular car but the performance is killer right these things electric nothing can accelerate faster than electric motor i mean we're talking you know zero to 60 in like you know two seconds two and a half seconds. I mean, this is crazy more than any human being should want so they have been coming down in down the market to the mid-sized cars and the like and now that we have competition models from every major automaker yes we're seeing cars that are getting down into the forty thousand range and you're going to see them over the next five years the batteries get cheaper they'll get into the thirty thousand range and i think it's going to uh, open up for a lot of people and of course the other thing is we hear a lot about china because China is a very big electric car maker. They're already trying to introduce cars in the European market, and the Europeans are concerned that they're going to be flooded with cheap cars. Um, but I think you're going to see a lot of competition in the next few years. And I would certainly urge anybody to consider an electric car, but if you don't see one you want right now, hold on to your current car for a while. You know, you, you don't want to buy a new gasoline car now and then find yourself in five or six years with a car that you can't even, like, no one wants to own that anymore. Because these cars are <laughs> definitely, you know, on the fast track in this. I mean, in places like Norway, 80% of new cars are electric. Wow. So, you know, these are really taking over the market in, in many places around the world. And, and I think you're just going to see all of the innovation put into electric cars and, and a lot less innovation, you know, and, and a lot fewer models of, of gasoline cars over the next five to ten years. And, of course, we'll continue this conversation after the break. Don't go anywhere.